Hi, my name is Harry Osborne and I'm from cohort 23 at the Information Lab. In this video I'm going to explain how to find values with dynamic bands in Tableau, allowing you to select data points to show the sum of the values within. This allows faster analysis of time series data combined with a user-friendly functionality of a line chart. Let's move over to Tableau and get started. Moving distribution bands can show total values within the selected ranges, as well as giving interactivity back to the user. By clicking and dragging, you can highlight several data points within the data set, and the band will move. The value contained within the band will also be visible at the top of the chart, as well as the time series that it is contained within. Let's move over to a new worksheet and get started. First off, we're going to create a custom date field from the order date. If I right click, move to create, and then custom date, I can choose the day part from the options, keeping it as a date value, and click OK. I can then drag on this new field into the columns and place sales onto rows. Next, we're going to create a set from the custom order date that we just made. Again, by clicking on the carrot and moving down to create, we can select a set. I'm then going to select the first five options in my data and hit OK. Next, I'm going to create two calculated fields. If I move here to the carrot and the data pane, and click calculated field, I'm going to name this min date in range. This will calculate the lower bound of my date selected in the range. Below that I'm going to input the following calculation. From the inside out this reads as if the order day is set then the order days and this is looking for the minimum so the lowest value within that. I've wrapped this in a fixed calculation, so the mustachioed brackets at the start and end, as this is looking for the minimum of the entirety of what is in my view. I'm then going to click OK. On that same calculation, I can then hit Duplicate, edit the copy, and change the min to a max. And then change the title to Max Date in Range. and then click OK. I'm then going to convert these two new calculations to continuous and then right click and drag them both onto detail. Next we will build the reference band. Moving to the analytics pane I'm going to drag on a reference band onto order date table. Within here I can select the bands from and to. I'm going to put the minimum data in the minimum and the maximum in the band 2 section. I'm then going to put dotted lines on either side and change the fill to slightly lighter and then click OK. Now a reference band has appeared here with the five dates that we selected at the start putting in our set. Next we're going to create a worksheet set action which will allow the dynamic selecting of points in the data. I'm going to move up to the worksheet tab at the top Select Actions, and when adding an action, choose Change Set Values. In here, all I need to do is select my set, the order date day set, leave as a sign, and change this to keep set values in clearing the selection. You can then hit OK both times. Now, by highlighting data points, the band will dynamically update. Next, we will create a calculated field to alter the colour within the band. Moving back to the Data tab, I'll select Create Calculated Field and name this Colour Code. Within this, the formula I'm going to write is if order date days is greater than the max date in our range then above 
else if the order date days is below the min date in our range, then below, else in range, end. Dragging this new field onto the color will now give us three distinct colors for whether something is below, in range, or above. I'm now going to edit the color code to make above and below the same color gray. Now you can clearly see what values are within range and what values are outside of that on the line chart. Lastly, I'm going to create one more calculated field to show which values are collected in range. I'm going to call this calculation sum of in range values. And it's going to be another LOD calculation with sum if color code equals in range, then sales, end. And then close off the LOD calculation there. This new measure can be dragged onto detail as well. And now it's just time to edit the title. I'm going to remove the sheet name and instead input the minimum date and the maximum date with a hyphen in between. And then the field we just created, the sum of in range values, I'm going to leave in bold. Our title now contains the date range contained within our reference band as well as the value of all the marks contained within it. If you want to check this, click one point where we know the value is 14,288 and the value at the top will update as such. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in creating movable reference bands inside Tableau. If you found this video helpful, click the thumbnail at the top to watch our latest video or click the thumbnail at the bottom to watch the previous video in this series looking at finding outliers with control charts.